Yo, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another sort of film review, uh, and this is a review of a animated, no, not animated movie, sorry, that's my bad, uh, a indie fan-made Flash movie, which I have talked about on the channel before, and the people that actually run that channel have commented on some of my videos before, and uh, you can watch it right here on YouTube. They have quite a few shorts. They have another project coming down the pipeline, but the first one is called Flash Test Run. It's roughly nine minutes long, so you can easily watch it uh, if you have like a spare 10 minutes. And let's just quickly run through the story of this first um, like episode, first sort of film that they've made. And how it starts out is with a sort of news report from the global city citizen, or the central city citizen. And then we get introduced to our three main speedsters, which is the Flash and two others, which I, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I can't remember who they are. And they start just racing and practicing using their speed. One of them gets caught by the trickster, and... The trickster sets off a bomb, and if he uses his speed, or the new speeder that he's captured uses their speed, the bomb will go off. The Flash and the other one in the black outfit uh, come to rescue uh, the other two, but they can't use their super speed. So the Flash goes and clears the area just in case something goes wrong, whilst the other one rescues them from their handcuffs. They end up capturing the trickster, and... Then they go see Batman and Robin to get a little bit more information on uh, Killer Frost, who's apparently running wild. And that's where it ends. Uh, again, uh, I do recommend you go watch this for yourself. Go support it. It is a non... It's a movie that isn't making any money. All right, It's a non-profit movie. And that is why they're allowed to make a movie based around The Flash, because it's a non-profit thing, so that's how they get around the copyright stuff. And I'm going to be honest, it's it's not the best. You can tell it's made on a budget. Uh, I, I give full props to these guys for going out there and wearing these costumes in the public and filming in the public. I have social anxiety. I struggle with filming in public. I would not be able to do this outside. I would not be able to go out there and record in front of loads of people just walking past like that. And I can't imagine how many shoots they would have had to take in because you do get these like dickhead, these assholes that will just come in and ruin it and take the piss. And that's just the outside world. That is literally just part of going outside. People do that all the time. So some of these scenes where they are outside, I feel like it would take a long time to film. There's obviously a lot of time and effort put into this because they all know their lines very well. Their acting isn't great, I will say that, but they did try their best, and you can see their emotions that they're trying to convey. And I'm going to be honest, the trickster was pretty fucking good. I liked him. I liked the trickster. He had a lot of emotion. He was, like, very giggly and very bubbly and that was good for his character that's good for the trickster and i will admit their super suits don't fit that well i will be honest their super suits are the best fit like they don't fit all too well you can see bits hanging off and again this is made on a budget so i don't know what that budget is but I do know that there was a budget to it, and I think they've done the best they could with the money that they had available to them. I do think the story is a little bit iffy, because it says if, like, you know, the lightning you create from using your speed, if it's detected, the bomb will explode. And I, like, they were vibrating their head using their speed, so I did think it was, like, a little bit of a cheating thing, like, a little bit of a workaround to rescue them. I thought, it, I, I, I thought that was a little bit cheap. But it's very interesting that they are setting up this world, setting up this universe, by introducing Batman and Robin and also Killer Frost this early. There is a lot of dr like dramatic pauses and a little bit of awkward pauses as well uh, in between scene changes and just when characters are talking in general. I don't know why this is. Um, I, I just assume that um, 
they were sort of waiting for the camera to stop or they were waiting for like the transition to take effect and that's why the pauses felt so awkward and so long i i, I really don't know and to say it is called the flash test run the flash wasn't really in it all that much and he wasn't really the main character either the main character revolved around the one which kind of looked like um jay garrett like his outfit, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be Jay Garrett or not. Again, they didn't really mention names. So I'm not too sure if it's him or not. I don't know. Uh, I don't know many of the speedsters in the Flash law other than Kid Flash, Reverse Flash, and Zoom. And I do believe Zoom is going to be one of the main bad guys for the next one. So I'm excited to see what they do for that. I'm excited to see where they take this and... I don't really have much else to say about it. Again, it is a fan film here on YouTube, so you can go check it out. Um, and if they do see this video, you did a really good job. And I can't wait for what you have to offer in the future. Uh, again, if you increase your budget a little bit, I think you could do absolutely amazing. And you've already done really good with the budget that you have. I would recommend getting a little bit of a touch up on the masks because they are a little bit loose but other than that it was it was decent all around so i am going to give this a solid like six out of ten again because it does still have its flaws but it is still pretty solid for what they like did do and again i can't recommend enough that you go check it out go watch it go support it and see what else they have to offer um so that's it for the review. I'm going to do a little bit of self-promotion for myself now. Um, so if you do want a little bit more Tyler Price in your life, you can go check out everything else that I have to offer as a content creator in the link in the description, which will take you to my link tree, where you can check out my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all that kind of stuff is on there for you guys to go and enjoy. And... If you want to stay right here on YouTube, definitely go check out these guys. It is called Flash Test Run, and you can go check it out pretty easily. Or you can stay here on my channel. Um, and 98% of you are recurring viewers, so you do like my stuff. You do like coming back to watch my stuff, but you're not subscribed. And that's a pretty big number. That is a pretty big number. Are you scared of the big red button or something? Is it scary to you? What's going on there? Uh, I, I suggest press it and then it won't be as red, it won't be as loud, it won't be as threatening, and it'll turn to a nice, cool grey. It might explode. I don't know. Press it and find out. It's a big red button. Everyone presses big red buttons all the time, so it should be fine. And uh, that's pretty much it for this YouTube video. If you do want me to check out any other sort of movies like this, or movies like in the cinema... TV shows, animes, please do leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get onto them as soon as possible. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all next. I hope you all have an excellent day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.
I gotta get that watch type dodger. I gotta get that bag. Why are you still here? There, like it, it, it's been like a, a solid like three minutes since I've said a word, and you're still here. Thank you for the commitment. Thank you for the support. Thank you for staying to the very end. But there really is nothing special at the end. Go watch another video.